Alrighty, hello again. Just a real quick look at our rising 90% moon over here in the east. It's up about, oh, 18, 19 degrees above the horizon. And it's a tad too light out to see much, but uh, I just wanted to grab it while it was still rising and hopefully get some footage tonight. So we're over here, uh, like I said, in the east, and yeah. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Must not have been important. Yeah, we can't see too much. It's too, too light out. But there we go. We'll take a look. I'm back here in the trees because it's uh, too far down. So Anyway, the uh, sun's going to set in about an hour, so I hope to be back later. Alright, you take care now. Bye. Well, the geese are saying hi tonight. <laughs> I couldn't see them, but I sure did hear them. Anyway, uh, the sun went down probably about 15 minutes ago, so... I'm going to try to get the uh, nighttime sun. It's still a little bit too uh, blue out for any stars. Some cool shots with the uh, tree. And right now, the moon's up about uh, 28, 29 degrees above the horizon. And it's 90.5% uh, lit now. So at the moment, I'm on uh, aperture mode. I might change it over, but when I had it on uh, moon mode, it was coming in too yellow. I wanted it more closer to... Uh, what I see by eye, which is, well, it's bright white right now. Yeah, we'll get our edges here. I like it better when we can see a definition instead of a just a blah, flat disc. A craggy surface down here. There's a lot that went on down here on the bottom edge. Which kind of seems strange, I don't know. Like, stuff was uh, hitting it from the bottom side, just I don't know. Seems kind of weird. Whoa. <laughs> well, something flew over front of it. I don't see any birds by eye, but we shall check that footage when we go in. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah, it's still too blue out. Um, Orion would be up uh, series is probably down below the trees but it's still too late out to see them so I'll have to uh, stop and come back. Oh by the way the moon's still in the east uh, about east southeast it's about to hit the line there and I'll probably let this run just in case something wants to pop up and edit it out if nothing does until some stars come out which means I'll be shutting my gob for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I just saw something else flash over. I don't see anything flying in the sky. Huh. A few stars are popping out. Alrighty, it got a little bit darker out, but with that moon being so bright, uh, it's hard seeing the stars. This is uh, Betelgeuse, the top left of uh, Orion. And uh, I'll throw some pictures in here. Yeah, I don't think those pictures will come out too well. It's just too light out with that glare of the moon. <laughs> but with the moon being 90.5% lit right now, 
We'll have that full moon, blood moon, super moon, blue, all the moons there on uh, Wednesday, January 31st. Anyway, it's about 40 degrees out, but it feels more like uh, below freezing. So I think I'm gonna call it quits early. I was kind of hoping to get serious, and it might be above the trees. I might try before I go in. Alrighty, but if not, I'm gonna wave goodbye now. All right, y'all take care. Bye now. Alrighty, we have a uh, colorful and flashy Sirius down here, down in the trees. But it's right in that gap. <laughs> Rising pretty quickly. I think this is one of the most uh, colorful stars there are. It's supposed to be a double star in uh, Canis Major. It's one of my favorites. Alrighty. So I'll show where it is down in the trees. In a still picture, since the video doesn't pick up crap. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, that should do it for tonight. Alright, wherever you are, have a wonderful evening and a great start to your Monday tomorrow. Bye for now.